This is a lesson for um, finding perimeter and area composite shapes for my 9K class. Um, mostly this is a review of um, stuff that you did in year 8. Um, and mostly you can divide these shapes up into rectangles and triangles. So the area is for a rectangle base times height and the area for a triangle half times base times height are going to be useful. Um, you will also need um, Pythagoras theorem which says that, sorry, if we can get that. Pythagoras theorem states that for the longest side of a, a right angle triangle, so it has to have the right angle, um, this side is the hypotenuse, uh, whatever this side is, a squared, sorry, whatever this side is a, and whatever this side is b, then this distance will be the square root of a squared plus b squared. So on this question over here, um, the perimeter, we need to add all of the distances around the outside of the shape. Okay, So we know that one, we know that one, we know that one, and we know that one, but we don't know the length of this, and we don't know the length of this. Because we can assume from the diagram that all of these angles are right angles, then that means that the sides must be parallel. And because the sides are parallel, then we can assume that that distance plus that distance must be the, the 17. Because we know this is 6, that one must be 11. Likewise, with this one, we know that this distance must be the sum of the 13 and the 7. So this distance must be 20. So... Having got those parts, what we can do is add our values together. So we've got a perimeter is going to be starting from one side and working our way around. 6 plus 13 plus the 11 we just calculated, plus 7 plus 17 plus the 20 which we just calculated. So our total perimeter is going to be 74 meters. The area, what we do here is we divide the shape into two separate halves. This area, the rectangle is just going to be the 6 times by the 13. So our area, let's have a 1 here. A1 will be 6 times 13. And we're going to add that to the area of this one over here, which is going to be the 17 times by the 7. 17 times by 7. So that'll be 6 13s are 78, and 17 7s are 119. So the total will be 197 square meters. For part B, I'm oh sorry, for question number 2, or even part B. Um, the perimeter, again, what we want to do is we want to add up the sides. Now, we've got four sides. We know three of them, the 15, the 18, and the 38, but we don't know the length of this side, and this is where Pythagoras comes in. If we draw the bottom of our right angle triangle here, we know it must be the same as the, the 15, so we know this is 15 centimetres. And using the same process we worked to find out the 11 over here, this distance in here must be the 38 take away the 18. So this distance must be 20 centimetres. This diagonal then is the square root of the 15 squared plus 20 squared, which turns out to be 25 centimetres. So our perimeter is going to be 25 plus 38 plus 15 plus 18 which will give us, that's 40, and that's 56, so that's going to be 96 centimetres. For the area, um, our area 1 over here, area is going to equal the base times the height, so 15 times by 18. 
and then our A2, which is a triangle, we've got a base of 15 and a height of 20, so we're going to do a half, because it's a triangle, times by 15 times by 20. We will end up with 15 18s are 270, and a half times 15 times 20 is going to be 150. So our total area is going to be 420 square centimetres.